everyone. In today's video, we are going to do a direct comparison or our feedback on using an airless sprayer versus using an HVLP sprayer. We normally use an HVLP sprayer in our spray booth when we're finishing furniture, but today we're going to take this guy to a test. Yeah, we'll let you know how the airless compares to the HVLP sprayer. Okay, so your first step is to mix your product. We'll be applying our base coat first, which is the primer. And what we want to do to start is to mix the product first. Um, and we also use a five gallon pail, as you can see. Um, whether you are using a gallon at a time, we always suggest to pour the gallon into a five gallon pail. It just makes it a lot easier for cleanup and less mess. Yeah, you don't even actually have to pour it into the five gallon pail. Just put, place your, your gallon inside the five gallon pail. Really reduces uh, if you're mixing it or, you know, it just reduces the chance of, of spillage. Let's put it that way. So you want to mix up your product really well. So I've got the airless sprayer set up in the other room. I've kind of set up my, my pressure right now. Just a couple little things I wanted to touch on. I'm not using the right tip in this right now. This is a 517. Um, I do have an FFLP 308 and that's a better tip for this application. However, it doesn't want to move the primer through because it's so thick and I don't want to really cut it down. I want to avoid that. So we're just going to go with a wider fan. This, like I said, this is a 517, so it is quite a bit wider fan than I'd prefer on this. And you want to wear your respirator. You know, I'm doing this because I'm doing the video on it, but normally you'd want a ventilated area, wear your respirator, that type of thing. Always be safety conscious. So I'm just going to put a coat down on this side and then we'll spray the other pieces accordingly. But the other one thing I wanted to mention too is I do have a whip attached to this and that does make dealing with the hose line a little bit easier too. If, if you are spraying, you'll find with the hose directly connected to it, it gives you some, some grief. I wanted to talk about the equipment a little bit. We've switched over from the airless sprayer to the HVLP sprayer. And I thought we'd just talk about, in order to put our paint on, I mean, um, I thought we'd just talk about what we're actually using as far as equipment goes. So the airless sprayer that we're using is a Titan XT330. And I've got an LX60 gun on this. Now this is a consumer grade. It's like midline of the airless sprayers. It produces 2200 PSI. So it's not a professional grade airless sprayer. You could spend thousands on those. This is kind of an average, you know, $500 to $700 kind of airless sprayer. Uh, it is using a, a 517 tip. And like I said earlier in the video, this is not the ideal for this application by no means. Uh, the five is indicates your spray pattern size so it's basically 10 inches and the 17 is the orifice size. In order to spray the primer and we use the Zinser 123 water-based primer it is pretty thick so you need a bigger orifice size in order to 
get that material through the gun and out. Again, normally I have this set on about halfway of, of what the pressure setting is, just, just as a side note. Um, a better tip for this application would be better. Now, I have a Graco 308, but the, the 08 doesn't, doesn't move the, the material and I didn't want to cut the material down, so we wanted to use it straight. So that being said, you know, a better tip selection absolutely would be better for this applica application. Mm -hmm. But in comparison, we have... This is the Earl X6900. This is um, a machine that we purchased many years ago. We've used it a ton. Um, this is a three turbine. Yeah, it's a three-stage turbine. Yeah. You can get it in a two-stage. We, I'm not sure why Earlex offers it, offers it in a two as a, in a, in a three-stage. I just assume that the three-stage is better, produces more even pressure. Mm -hmm. So we got the three-stage one. That's and we primarily use this one in our shop. And then the needle that is in this gun here um, is what, a 1 to 1 1.5? Is that what it is? Uh, it's a 1.3 to 2.0. Okay. But, you know, it, it's really like a, a, a 1.3 needle in it. It's basically what it comes down to. On the gun itself, they have a, this controls the fan to a certain degree, this mm -hmm. top knob, and it'll shrink it down and make it bigger and then your flow control is back here. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And this little feature on it is kind of nice in some, some, if you're doing a small area, you're trying to get a very, a, a lot finer application, spray pattern. This does get useful once in a while, but typically we use it pretty much all the time on yeah. the widest fan pattern. Yeah. It does have a quick connect on it. This comes with a 30 foot hose too, mm -hmm. which we really like. Yeah. A lot of the models in the HBLP sprayer turbine systems are, they've got shorter hose lines. So this does have a 30 foot line and it's got a quick coupler on it. So it's nice for our shop. We're able to run multiple guns and just easily switch them over without too much hassle. And it locks in really well. So, um, you know, we'll, We'll put some links in for, um, I'm not sure about the airless sprayer. I haven't really looked it up to see if it's still readily available, if it's what kind of price range where it's it's in, but yeah. there may be a link in the video for, for the airless sprayer. Yeah. But we'll put one in for the, the 6900 for sure. Absolutely. And we're gonna do more of a review on this later date. But just in comparison, I wanted to make sure that we kind of went through this and as we we're painting with the 6900 in comparison to the priming with, with the airless sprayer. Now that the primer's dried up, we want to do a quick scuff coat. And you can see in the clips here following, we're going to be putting two coats of paint on. But we, I wanted to mention we scuff coat between every coat. So that's a five, 600 scuff coat that goes in between each layer. We do cut our paint, it is a water-based paint and we do cut it about 10% in order to get good atomization and good, good flow with the gun. Now with our water-based sealer, we use a Saman varnish, and it is water-based, and I do cut that about 10% water, distilled water, and I do tint that with whatever color we're using for whatever project we're doing. A 
like you can see in this clip, I like to apply about a 3 mil application of sealer on the tops. And that that's because I like to, and I do two coats, and that's because I like to get a good barrier on it, and then we'll proceed to give it a scuff sand and start going up in coats from there to get our finished coats. So we finished the end of the project at this point. This is, we're getting down to the end of the video and to the good part where we give you our feedback, the pros, the cons, you know, kind of what we think mm -hmm. in comparison between the HP. And again, this is a turbine HVLP sprayer. If you're not familiar with that, it's essentially like a vacuum cleaner running in reverse. So I'll just start with the airless sprayer. And like I said earlier in the video, I hadn't really looked it up. I took, took a quick look and I, from what I recall when we bought this and it was a couple of years ago, it was about $700. Mm -hmm. And I think they have a, uh, Titan has a new one that's comparable to this and it's the Control Max 1900 Pro, I, I believe is what it is. And it's about 550, 600 bucks in that range. As a comparison, airless sprayer to airless sprayer, that's kind of, um, where this one fit in. The Erlex system that we've been talking and using um, in this video is basically a thousand dollars for the three-stage turbine. Um, so you know you get a gun, a gun with that, the hose and the unit. Yeah. So it's a, it's a full kit but it is a thousand dollars as opposed to you know six or seven hundred dollars. Now you did have to get parts for this one. That was an all-in-one unit, right? No, the parts that I got, there's a lot of accessories for airless sprayers, like I showed earlier, like the hose whip. Uh, there's extensions, which I've got an extension for this. Um, the tips are all additional. Yeah. It does come with the 517 tip, and that's the one that I used in this, this video. But again, you know, the tip wasn't ideal mm -hmm. when in this video and for what we were using it for. If you're doing wall painting and that type of thing, it's 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 very good. Yeah. Um, it because of the orifice size, it moves heavier product. You don't have to cut it like our primer, like I showed or I talked about earlier in the video. It's very heavy, so it it does that very well. Yeah. Um, and I am gonna say, you know, as far as the result from the actual spraying the airless sprayer with the primer it came out really well i was very happy with that the coverage was really good mm -hmm. no runs no runs yeah. which is really nice um but it did it did perform very well in that aspect and and better than the hvlp sprayer for that application in particular from our experience with it you get a lot you have to do a lot more coats because you have to cut the material for the hvlp sprayer now, just to go back and the different tips, you are getting all a number of different tips for different products and and that type of thing. So there's a there is a little bit more expense involved, whereas the H the the, the Erlex is basically a 1.3 tip, and we've never had to change that tip in this gun. Yeah. So you know that is a little bit of a difference too. You know the accessories for the airless sprayer can add up, um, but. The HVLP sprayer basically works out of the box and does what it's supposed to do. What about cleanup? Uh, the the big, to me the big con, unless you're doing big jobs or bulking, like we did a number of pieces all, all at the same time in this video like you saw. Mm -hmm. And to do it that way, it's it's a lot of setup and cleanup with the airless sprayer. Yeah. It's, it, it's not ideal that way. It's a lot of extra time and a lot of extra work and I think that's where the HVLP system is is better. It performs better in that aspect. It's much easier to clean it up yeah. or just switch colors, change a gun over to a, another gun. If you have additional guns like we do in our shop, um, you can run you know sealers, paint, uh, primer, all in three different guns at the same time, and not and not have to clean up between each one to use unless you have one gun. Even then, even if you're using one gun, it's a much smaller quantity, but it's much quicker to clean up. Mm -hmm. It's a lot less hassle. So, I mean, that was a big advantage. So I think on 
for furniture refinishing and that type of thing, primarily the HVLP gun is, is far better. Mm -hmm. um, it does as good a job, or the airless spray does as good a job, I think, as far as the application, but given the cleanup time and everything, it's that's its big downfall. Mm -hmm. um, so ease of use, I think both of them are very straightforward to use. They're they're pretty straight. They're pretty simple. Mm -hmm. That once you kind of use them a little bit. Yeah, and that was my first time using it in the video. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have any problems. No, and it is. They are pretty straightforward to use. It's mm -hmm. it's more the cleanup end of it, I think, than, than anything. Yeah. Um, noise wise, though, the airless sprayer is far quieter, quieter than yeah. than the HVLP. Like I said, it's like a vacuum. So you're basically running a vacuum all the time when this is on. Yeah. Whereas the HPLP, or sorry, the airless sprayer, it hardly makes any noise at all. It just, it makes a bit of pump noise when it kicks in, but it's it's quiet. It It's very, very user friendly that mm -hmm. way, or in, you know, people friendly that way by yeah. far. So that is a real benefit of this. Um, you know, at the end of it, the manufacturers are pretty standard warranties, a year warranty. So, and we haven't had any issue that way. So it's, you know, warranties warranty. Yeah. Um, but cost, you know, like I said, I think if you're doing bigger jobs, especially wall painting, that type of thing, you know, the H the, the airless sprayer is far better. Mm -hmm. um, it just more area. It's faster. You're moving a lot more product. With the HPLP spray, you'd be reloading it every, you know, every five minutes, and it would slow you down quite a bit. But they're really two different applications. But you can get away with with refinishing furniture with the airless sprayer, you know. And you, you just got to consider your product that you're using, and then your tip application for that product. And mm -hmm. you know, so there are a few variables. But just in general, ideally, like us, I, I would suggest get both. Mm -hmm. If you can afford to do that. Yeah, like if you're planning on doing that kitchen refinishing, you know, this would be great for the panels, but this would be great for the trimming. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or, yeah, there's just, you know, for us, we, we're doing a lot of projects at all the time. Mm -hmm. And the HVLP sprayer normally shines and it's far easier to work with and than, than the airless. Um, but like I said, in this video, we were we were priming a lot of pieces at the same time. Mm -hmm. Or if you're doing bigger jaw or a lot of processing a lot of pieces, then you know you're probably better off with the with the airless sprayer. Mm -hmm. Now with this tip, it did produce quite a bit more misting yeah. or overspray. But again, that's you know tip you could you could fix that or a lot of that with a proper size tip like a 313. I think would be better for this type of application. But just we just wanted to use it kind of the way it was and give you our feedback on kind of the pros and cons between the two. And I think that really sums it up. If you if you like this video, we have many more. This isn't an in-depth, it wasn't an in-depth um, wow. tool review by any means. It's just a direct comparison, real world use, mm -hmm. and you know, just kind of our feelings on how the two pan out against each other. So if you have comments or questions, do it below. And if you want to see more of our videos, please like and subscribe. We have many more videos coming. Bye-bye for now.